So I'm making this video to introduce you to an AI tool called ChatGPT. And I wanna show you some fun and cool ways that you can be utilizing this for your jewelry marketing to help you optimize, to give you new ideas, to help you be more creative, and to help you save time. So here on the screen, I have a show ChatGPT. It is made by OpenAI. It's free to use. So if you Google ChatGPT, you can easily find it, or you can enter this URL into your browser. When you click chat GPT, it will open up a new tab. You'll have to create a free account, but then the main dashboard once you're in will look something like this. And it gives you some examples to get you started. And also at the bottom, there's a space for you to write your own prompts and then get the feedback back from chat GPT. So this is a super powerful tool. Um, rather than just tell you some generic ideas, I want to show you how I would apply this for a jewelry brand in the wild if I were a marketer using this tool for the brand. So of course, everyone knows, is familiar with Tiffany & Co. They're not a client of mine. I have no idea if they're using tools like ChatGPT, so this is more just like a fun exercise, but I'm going to show you the ways that I can use ChatGPT in service of their marketing. So also I have opened here a tool called Milled that allows you to see email marketing campaigns from a number of brands. It's a really excellent resource if you want to kind of do some research on email marketing and see what different brands are doing. I also have their Instagram account open here because I'm going to borrow some things from these three sources to show you my examples. So the first thing I want to show you of what ChatGPT can do, it can really help you make your email marketing more interesting and effective and can open up opportunities to do testing in your email marketing, or even just help you save time if you feel stuck or you have writer's block and you wanna create some more interesting subject lines or even email copy to get people to open and spend time with your emails, this is an awesome tool. So I'm gonna to go to Mild and I noticed I wanted to pick something that had more of like a call to action type subject line so I am choosing fall in love with these necklaces and I'm going to go, I'm going to copy it, go over to chat GPT and in the prompt at the bottom, I'm going to say, please give me 10 alternate ways to say, and then I'm just pasting that subject line, whoops, in here. And it almost feels like a little chat message. Of course, it's called chat GPT. So when I click it, it's going to chat back to me. There we go. So these are some ideas that it came up with. Basically, just the big main takeaway here is you won't see a ton of variation here. And I actually tried this before in another chat and it gave me a um, different results. So if you do this a few different times, you'll get different results. But what I really love about this is it's kind of giving me like synonyms or different tones to use in an email subject line. So here's one example. Um, Another thing I really like using ChatGPT for is giving like a rough draft idea for a longer piece of content, like let's say a blog post or something like that. So I just went to the Tiffany Instagram account and I opened a random post, this one, about um, the new Tiffany eyewear collection, which has faceted elements. And I'm gonna copy and paste this caption and I'm going to ask it to please write me a blog post based on this text. And I'm just going to copy and paste it here. And 
and it's going to generate some text for me. So as you can see, the original caption was just one sentence. Featuring faceted elements inspired by gemstones, the new Tiffany eyewear collection is a playful nod to our long-standing heritage in precious stones. This is pretty amazing. Tiffany & Co., the iconic luxury jewelry brand, has released a new eyewear collection that's sure to turn heads. With its faceted elements inspired by gemstones, the new collection is a playful nod to the brand's long-standing heritage and precious stones. The collection is designed to be both fashionable and functional. Blah, blah, blah. It goes on and on, incorporating a range of colors and styles. One of the standout features is a playful nod to Tiffany's heritage. Another great aspect of the collection is its versatility and it's the perfect blend of fashion and function. Now, if you were to work, be working on Tiffany's marketing team and this was gonna actually be a long piece of longer form content, of course you would take this and make sure that it's like specific in the tone that you want it to um, be, have all the information that you need it to include. But wow, what a great starting point, especially if you just want like a different perspective or you've been creating a lot of marketing content, you just wanna see like a different way of presenting something or telling a story, and maybe it will even point out a detail that you have overlooked or you didn't think to highlight in the text. So here we go, we already have a brainstorm draft of the blog post that was made just from a single sentence prompt. So another thing I, think is cool about ChatGPT is that you can have it right to cater to a specific audience. So let's say, I'm sure if you know anything about Tiffany & Co, it's a legacy brand. They've made many efforts to kind of cater to younger consumers like Gen Z, so a lot of their marketing reflects that. So they may be interested to know, how do we speak to Gen Z? Like what's the type of language that we should use? So I'm just randomly gonna go on the site and I'm gonna pull some text. Let's pull this, handcrafting the world's best diamond. Whoops, let me copy and paste this into here. And I'm gonna say, rewrite this text so it would appeal to Gen Z. And let's see what it comes up with. Not that exciting. So the one that they came up with is knowing is half the battle and when it comes to diamonds, we've got it covered. We take pride in being transparent and in knowing exactly where our rough diamonds com come from, that's why we get, can guarantee that 100% of our diamonds are sourced from known mines. So it's kind of interesting what they thought is appealing to Gen Z. I can kind of see how this first sentence might work for that, like we've got it covered. It's kind of snappy and casual when it comes to diamonds and showing authority in like a non-intimidating way. So you could kind of keep playing around with this until it maybe gives you something that would spark an idea. So here's another rewrite. Making sure your diamonds are the real deal starts with knowing their origin story. And we're all about transparency. 100% of our rough diamonds can be traced back to specific known mines. It's interesting how they added the word transparency in here, maybe thinking that that appeals to Gen Z. But anyway, you could definitely get some ideas from this. So let's say Tiffany was like, um, we need some ideas for like a blog post about how to give a Tiffany blue box. Like what are some creative ways? Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. find out.
it probably won't be anything of a surprise to someone who works there. But a scavenger hunt could potentially result in a really fun marketing campaign, especially if it's branded or in a themed gift basket where everything is the color blue. Those are some fun ideas. So anyway, it's just cool to see what chat, chat, chat GPT comes up with for this. Now you may have heard that Tiffany and Co is um, doing a collab with Nike recently. You can see that here on their website coming soon. So if you are on the Tiffany marketing team, okay, so this collab is coming. What are some interesting like marketing campaign ideas for such a thing? So let's ask ChatGPT. Again, none of this is gonna probably be mind blowing, but it really could lead you in a specific direction or prompt you to consider something you haven't thought of before. So sneaker inspired jewelry, sneaker jewelry giveaway, a limited edition collection, wear your passion on your feet and wrist, host a series of pop-up events where customers can try on both sneakers and jewelry, sneaker themed jewelry boxes, and sneaker inspired window displays. So those are some ideas they came up with. And then one last thing, this is really good for headlines and again, giving you new ideas for headlines. So this one, Valentine's Day gifts. Let's see. And these could also be used for like email subject lines. Nothing particularly mind blowing, but it could possibly give you an idea for a new way to phrase something. And then the cool thing is, is this is all saved here and you can refer to it to get like synonyms, alternate words, alternate ideas, when you're stuck with writer's block, when you just need a new way of phrasing something because you have lots of email marketing campaigns to send or lots of social media posts to make. Um, this could potentially be really helpful. I'm giving it this prompt again to see if it comes up with anything else. Oh giving me a little more variety now. So the original email subject line was fall in love with these necklaces and now we have adore these necklaces, be charmed by these necklaces, enchanting necklaces to fall for, gorgeous ne necklaces to swoon over, etc. Could just give you alternate words to use. So anyway, these are some fun ways to kind of start diving into chat GPT, but the cool thing about it is you can get creative with the prompts that you share with it and you can help it help you be more efficient in your content creation and optimization. So I hope that helped and I hope you enjoy this fun and innovative new tool.